What is going on agents? Patrick Wolf here. So the Diamondback Rifle is currently available at Kenley College. Let's go and do the final part. Uh, I'll be showing you guys exactly how to do it. Uh, well, we're not going to go through the whole mission, but I'll let you know exactly you know, the right points to get it because you need to actually go and find it after you've completed the mission. So we'll get into that soon. But this does look very nice. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this gun has surprised me in many ways. Uh, it's very strong. It does a lot of damage. Now, I haven't had too much time to test it, but as you can see, uh, it's very interesting the way that it, that it plays out. Now, let's just go into it and have a look. So, obviously, it looks very cool, but the damage is crazy strong. Now, I've specced into a pretty good rifle build right now. This is 121,000 damage per bullet. Now, 100 RPM is pretty high for a rifle and 5... Um, no, sorry, that is, that's pretty low for a rifle, actually. Because if we look over here at my MK17, it's 43, 303, and 20. So we've got a small mag. The RPM is quite low, but the, the damage is high. And the talents are Diamondback randomly marks an enemy. So, as you can see, we're just moving. You see the little symbol there on the screen? So there'll be a line coming from the gun, and then it marks an enemy right there. And then that's how it works. So that's how it marks the enemies, if you guys were wondering. And then hitting that enemy consumes the mark, so you, you get a, a guaranteed critical hit every time you shoot an enemy that's, you know, that's received that mark, with 20% total damage increase. So a new random enemy is marked afterwards, and whenever you reload, then what happens is you, when you get deep, deep fangs, now this is where the reload reloading becomes irrelevant because you just reload very quickly and you get massive amounts of armor. It's actually really, really strong. So after hitting five marked enemies, gain plus 50% reload speed, 20% total damage, and all shots fired are guaranteed critical hits for 10 seconds. It's extremely strong. Oh, wait, here we go. This is the shaded skin. So well drawn each time a round is loaded. So what happens is, is you'll be getting the foster reload from this and then you you stack and it, you get 20% bonus armor. So you, it, it really comes quick and you, your armor like doubles. It's crazy. It's really, really strong. You guys need to get this gun as soon as you can and give it a try. So well holstered each time you reload or feed your current weapon gain plus 8% bonus armor for two seconds. So that's just nice if you want to use it as a holster. A holstered weapon so this gun is really good uh, we, how are you gonna get it now so you guys need to go obviously to Kenny College so then what you need to do is do the student union that is obviously the third part do the other ones first if you haven't done them you're just gonna run inside you're just gonna follow the mission it's pretty simple locate IDs do echoes just run around make sure you look for everything a lot of loot boxes in there then when you're fighting the kin and the Spitfire make sure to do only fire damage because that's the only way you can kill them uh, my teammates spend a lot of time trying to shoot him, but you can't actually kill him that way. So use like a, you use a fire turret. Uh, there's a lot of boxes of, of uh, incendiary ammo. So just pick those up, put them in your gun and shoot them one bit by bit. Don't waste your whole mag on, you know, putting them on fire. You just tap, tap, tap every bullet. Use them because there's not a lot of them. I use the fire seeker mine, the incendiary one, to just, you know, finish them off. So just make, keep that in mind because you can spend a while trying to figure out this part. A lot of people aren't very... I don't really think about it too much. So once you've done this, you're just going to go further through the mission. There's, there's a little area where you fight a boss, and then you need to come to the chapel. Once you've actually finished the mission, come to this area right here. This is the chapel. I'm sure you guys know where that is from, the PTS and everything. And you're just going to come in here, open the box, and she'll be right there for you to pick up.